Welcome back to Java Revisited, your go-to channel for all things Java development. Today, we are diving into an essential topic for an any Java developer, creating Java project with a database. Whether you are a beginner or a seasoned developer, understanding how to integrate a database into your Java project is crucial. So, let's get started. The first step is to set up our development environment. We need a JDK, Java Development Kit, installed on our machine, as well as an IDE. You can either have Eclipse or IntelliJ IDEA. Finally, we look into how to integrate the database into our IntelliJ IDEA, how to work with that. All right, so let's begin with the basics. First, let's install the JDK. In order to install the JDK, you need to go to this website of oracle.com and then uh, you have to find uh, this particular page where you can download the JDK for Windows, uh, Mac OS, you can decide for yourself, you can download it and install it on your computer. Once it's installed, your development environment is ready for Java. Then comes the IntelliJ IDEA, uh, which is this one and you need to uh, install this IDE uh, in order to work with uh, the uh, Java projects, right? And finally, also download the MySQL uh, MySQL community downloads. Under that, you need to install the platform independent one. So here's the database system that you can use. This will create the MySQL workbench which you'll need to integrate your database to work with the database as such. All right, so. Once you have done that, I'm going to, uh, after installing a JDK, just open up the IntelliJ IDEA, right, or Eclipse, whichever you have chosen. And once your IDE is up and running, we we'll create a small Java project and try to see how we can integrate the database with the project. So first up, let's create a new project. For the Java DB one project and choose Java IntelliJ IDEA. Make sure the JDK option is available so that you have selected the right JDK and you can click create. This will create your project in IntelliJ IDEA. Once uh, the project is running, we configure the settings and add necessary libraries. Now let's configure our project settings and add necessary libraries or framework depending upon the requirements of our project. So we'll use JDBC to interact with the database. Uh, so um, don't forget to add JDBC driver to your uh, preferred database. Before that, um, basically after downloading the MySQL, you have to go make sure that You have added the library over here in the library folder. You have this jar file which you downloaded from MySQL website that I showed you. And once you have done that, you have to go to project settings, project structure, and in the modules, make sure you add the MySQL connector, this particular jar file. Okay, add it, add it as a dependency. And yes, we can uh, then go to the MySQL server, what MySQL workbench that you have installed in the MySQL workbench. Kindly click on your side. And then you have your database ready with all the tables and all the fields. So uh, now we are able to interact with the MySQL database using JDBC and you need to make sure that you have the URL, you have the username, password and other database credentials. 
and uh, of course we are connected to the database we can perform the CRUD operations okay so for example I have a database uh, I have a database here uh, you can use this one as well the tables which are by default given over here okay um, but uh, just config but I would rather go with a char this database also will be available to download but there are several um, classes several tables in it which you can work with and then if you see I have uh, so much data available in it so you can play around with this and based on this you can create uh, uh, you can play with the program and you can connect to this database and work on your uh, IntelliJ uh, on your Java program I mean see how we can work with that okay so let's create a Java class to connect with the database so we'll have a new Java class and let's call it database demo and over here I would like to first of all enter the uh, URL username and password so this is the localhost 3306 slash and the database name is hr make sure the Username is mentioned uh, over here. In our case, it is a root, and the password is in our case, it is Prakash AV. Now we try to register uh, for the driver. No form exception, or it can also be um, SQL exception. then we start with the we registered the JDBC driver and now we open a connection so we got connection 
equals to driver manager dot get connection username got password and now we try to insert uh, retrieve the employees with the connection that we created And this uh, method needs to be uh, defined but uh, we can add a catch clause that it is can also be uh, an exception All right so let's define the method where we are trying to retrieve the employees records it's called private static void uh, retrieve employees and connection connection throws SQL exception we got a string SQL equals to Select star from employees. Let's try. Dot So uh, once you have defined that, we go while statement and result set dot next. And we try to print out all the elements.
so once you have uh, I have written this uh, code so that we can easily connect with the database so I have done the homework I have uh, for use meaning I have written the, uh, the code which kind of shows only the partly the employee table because if you see the employee table it has uh, so many different columns but I have only selected a few ones over here and I am printing the employee ID the name and last name and email uh, also have connected the database like so and with the ID and password okay so let's say we have built this connection uh, just like this and now we're gonna run the code and see if we are able to see first the data from the database So as you can see in the results we, in the console we have data employee name and email okay so we are able easily able to work with this so we're able to get data from the database now if you want you can also perform other crude operations like uh, creating, inserting, reading, updating, deleting, all kinds of operations you can perform on this data. Okay, but we have only uh, done a retrieval function over here just to set an example for you. Okay, so now that we can see clearly our application is successfully connected to the database and performs the necessary operations. Uh, we have uh, learned how to create a Java project with a database. So remember that this is just the beginning. There's so much more you can do with Java and databases. So keep exploring and experimenting. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure that you like this video, subscribe to Java Revisited. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you.